The Great Falls Business Improvement District is getting ready for its third annual Art Fest. Art Fest is a week-long mural painting event. Artists paint murals on downtown buildings. This year, six artists will paint up to seven new murals. Outside of a few guidelines, such as nothing that looks like graffiti and nothing that could be considered a sign, the artists can paint whatever they want. I do find that often the artists will work with our property owners to submit some sort of a design and, and make sure that the property owner is on board with that design. Art is an incredible economic driver and folks will come to view the art. So that's also one reason why we bring artists in from other communities, because those artists have followings. The Keller Geist building and buildings in the 600 and 400 blocks of Central Avenue will be painted this year. Well, in today's Feel Good Friday story, brought to you by Carnahan's Towing, the front of Power High School received a beautiful upgrade thanks to the generosity of a local artist. A year ago, Power High School teacher Don Seavers approached her friend and fellow artist Jason Garneau with a proposal to create a sculpture for the Power High class of 2021 with money they'd raised during the year. After it became clear that their budget wouldn't cover the type of piece they'd envisioned, Garneau decided to donate his time and efforts to create a handcrafted sculpture of a pirate ship made from burnt metal valued at over $6,000. He said he was happy to give back to the class after all they'd gone through during the pandemic. With this pandemic, you know, it really brought people down and um, any, you know, anything positive is great for the community. Um, so I felt this was just a, a great opportunity to, to bring that. And during COVID, they did lose things. They did lose sports, they lost proms, they lost opportunities. And um, for Jason to like care about kids he hadn't really met, but just knowing me and just wanting to donate to the school, it warms your heart that people are willing to give. A really neat sculpture there. In addition to that, several members of the power community worked to design and install the frame and solar-powered lights.